Oh look, a different looking room. Nothing over here. Let's have the view of the entrance. Back here. Walking, 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 walking around. And the music died. Again. Tisk tisk, Lucas Arts, tisk tisk. Oh look! Water! Well, if you recall. Oh, yeah, new spell. Can't use it yet. But we can, but it won't do anything, because there's no applicable targets around us. Anyways, if you recall, back at the Weaver Island, we tipped over a glass of green stuff. And then the spell that we can now use. Got rid of that pesky water. And look, another crystal ball. Let's take a look. Ooh, foggy now. And the swan. This is pretty much your last chance to get the swan spell. If you didn't get it by there, you're pretty much screwed when you need it later. Hey look! Ugly face! He is very ugly. Yeah, I get held up for a second because I try to go back the way I came, but... I kind of forgot to bob and claim that we cannot, in fact, go back the other way. So, this way is the way we'll be going. Do, 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 do. And it's the exit! We are finally out of this cave! It takes a second to bob and to register that I want him to leave. And this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Watch this. Just watch. And I accidentally cast the wrong spell. But watch, watch, watch. Just, just watch. Look at that. Was that effect just not freaking awesome? Let's watch it again, but in reverse. Wee! Again. Whoop. Oh, alright, right, let's get going. But seriously, isn't that, doesn't that just look dang cool? Just... Wow. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Foreshadowing. Anyway, this will be it for now. See you later, guys. Except it's not the end because I didn't record these in even bites, so I'm continuing again. And this guy is sleeping. And we know a spell to wake people up thanks to the sheep that we saw at the shepherd place which we are casting now. I seriously do not see what these people see in this robe. 
But anyway, this is Rusty Nailbender. His name is funny. In fact, most of these names sound like they come from a certain medieval planet. Hint, hint, in joke. Not really a joke, though, but. Yeah. That is a city in the shape of an anvil. It is the home of the Guild of Forgers, or Blacksmiths. And Wesley is apparently narcoleptic. Anyways, we are at yet another graveyard. This game actually has several areas that are graveyards for some reason. And there is an actual reason for that, by the way. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And we are down here now. And this guy comes over here to yell at us. Huh. We have the opening draft. Or spell. And or spell, yeah. And I fuck it up. Ta da! And this muscle man keeps us from coming in. So if that doesn't work, what are we to do? Hmm... Well... They're only letting members of the guild. So what we are going to do is walk back over here to Mr. Narcoleptic, Rusty, and we're going to use that spell that we got uh, from the reflection in the water from the cave place. It goes like this. And voila! We are now Rusty. And Rusty is now Bobbin. <laughs> hey, oh young nailbender. Stoke. Stokey's a mean person. Let's go say hi to Stoke. And here we are. Music's back once again, so rejoice. Hello there, fellow blacksmith. Grunt and stuff. I am just off to forge some swords and axes for people. Because that is what I do as a blacksmith. Ha ha ha. So here we are. That is Stoke. Hey, I like my stick. Grr, why? Ooh, they're making swords for the clerics. Yeah, didn't Hetro tell you never to let go of that thing, Bobbin? And you just kind of let him take it? Not very smart, considering it's the thing that lets you do things. No, Bobbin is now basically useless now, so he... It's snappy time. 